In this session, we are going to look into the descriptive statistics using SPSS. Now, in order to run descriptive statistics, what we need to do is we need to go into Analyze and this Descriptive Statistics menu. Now, we've got two options here, or rather multiple options here, Frequencies, Descriptives, Explore, Cross Steps, Ratio, PV Plots, and QV Plots. But we are interested in, for now, today, Frequencies, Descriptives, and Cross Steps. Now, when do you use frequencies? Frequencies are used for categorical variables, not continuous variables. A categorical variable which has got discrete values. For example, country, maybe Pakistan, China, Italy, Spain, any other country. Gender, male or female. So go to descriptive statistics and select frequencies. In this case, I'm interested in gender finding out how many male and female response respondents did I had in my study. So select gender and put it in variables. You've got a number of options to select from. If you go to statistics, you can select quartiles, cut points, percentile score, minimum, maximum, range, variance, standard deviation. Obviously, this is a categorical variable, a nominal scale variable. So we do not have the mean or standard deviation. We can have mode the minimum maximum value we do not need skewness and kurtosis just play that's like press continue but okay let's let's press continue we can have charts let's do bar chart and we can have different formats as well if you want ascending order descending orders the counts you can change this style as well but that is for SPSS 26 I'm not sure whether it was there in previous versions as well and just press OK. So here are our results. There are no missing values. The mode is 1, the minimum value is 1 and maximum is 2, which means that there is no incorrect data because the minimum and maximum value is fine. So there are 414 male respondents, 360 female respondents. This is the percentage, this is the valid percentage and this is the cumulative percentage. Now, what's the difference between percentage and valid percentage? Valid percentage does not account for missing data. So you will always have it 100%. Whereas percentage accounts for missing data. For example, let me give you an example. Let's say if I remove the two from here and rerun our hypothesis. Oh, sorry, rerun the frequencies. And here it is. See? The cumulative percentage is 100%, whereas the valid per sorry, the valid percentage is 100 and the percentage is 99. So it is accounting for the missing data. Now, how do you report these results? Let's say we copy this table from here. And I've got a sample here. So you type in gender and this is the sample from hotel customers. So there were 414, which is 53.49% male and 360, which is 46.5% female respondents. Whereas the total sample size is N is equal to 774. This is how you do it in APA style. Then you mention your table number, the caption or title for the table in italics, and then your results in the table. So you mention your descriptive statistics for your variables or your categorical variables or your continuous variables before you are testing your hypothesis or presenting your model in your data analysis and results chapter. What if we have got continuous variable? What do we do then? So we go to analyze. We can go from here as well or we can go from the, the main window here. Analyze, descriptive and descriptives. So we take descriptives for continuous variables normally. Let's say I'm interested in this CSR score, overall continuous or overall CSR score. Or let's say it's better, let's take age. I'm interested in average age. So you can again go for options, minimum, maximum, standard deviation, variance, range, skewness and kurtosis, and all these options here. Just press continue and press OK. And here are your results. Now, how do you report these results? Again, I've got a template here. The average age of the students was 29.45 years. Standard deviation is this. In this case, let's uh, change it 
the average was 29.424 of the hotel customers was so this is how you report a descriptive statistics for a continuous variable now sometimes in our data analysis and results chapter what we need to do is we need to write about or we need to present the details about our construct or variables in the study that are measured using different items in this case i've got this variable csr corporate social responsibility and it is measured using eight items now how do you report a variable which has got indicator something that is a construct in your study in order to do this again we will use descriptive statistics analyze descriptive statistics and then descriptives do not need age here and we are interested in csr to select all of them put it in here press ok and here are your results you can just copy them from here and let's say we put it in here now let's arrange this a bit let's remove this first row we do not need this let's make it all border go to design just like normalize the design here it is right click auto fit to window and let's put it in center Home. and remove the borders as required in APA style no border then we need the top border we need the bottom border and the, on the first row we need the bottom border and we can write here like items now moving on how do you write about this table now descriptive statistics for CSR reveal an overall mean score so you can have an overall mean score as well how do you get an overall mean score we do not need this row so let's remove this In order to get an overall mean score, what you need to do is you need to create a composite score for CSR 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And how do you do this? Just go to transform compute variable CSR mean and in here you write or select CSR 1, comma, CSR 2, comma, CSR 3, comma, CSR 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. You need to separate each of the indicators with a comma and in like you write need to write mean parenthetical bracket right at the start and end and then press ok so i've already created this variable so it's, it's it's asking whether i want to change the existing variable in this case let it be so how do you get the mean score for that variable it's already in there just put it in here and you can have one table with the items and the overall mean score just copy it and obviously you can paste it here in this case the overall mean score was 3.841 the standard deviation was this this shows a positive perception of csr among the customers because the overall mean score is as uh, like it, it has got inclination towards agreement because the scale range from strongly disagree to strongly agree so 3.84 is very close to 4 so which means that they've got a positive perception about csr so people are agreeing that yes the the hotels are following the or uh, or doing CSR initiatives or taking CSR initiatives CSR 1 had the highest mean value and what did CSR 1 meant it meant that hotel showed responsibility towards the environment how do I know because this was in the questionnaire so you go need to go back to your questionnaire and see what it means and then you write about it so this is how you report your items for a particular construct their mean their min minimum maximum value their standard deviation now what if your data has got categories and you want to report CSR score across countries or maybe across or between male and female. So how do you do this? In this case, we collected data from China, Italy and Pakistan. So I want to find out what was the mean score for China, Italy and Pakistan and their standard deviation and sample size. Now in order to do this, what you can do is Go to analyze, compare means and means. 
country is my factor list or independent list and I'm interested in CSR what are my options go to options you can have mean number of cases standard deviation and you can have other things as well like skewness and kurtosis minimum maximum whatever things or whatever options you think are required in your study just press continue press ok and here are your results you can copy them put them in word and change the format how do you write about this this is how you write about it the data was collected from hotel customers in three different countries Pakistan this was the sample size China this was the sample size Italy this was the sample size and then you report the descriptive statistics the mean and in bracket the standard deviation so this is how you report your descriptive statistics so where do you report descriptive statistics when you are writing your thesis you can write descriptive statistics right before you are evaluating your model the measurement model or the structural model if you're writing a paper right at the start just give a, a heading demographic profile of respondents and then you can report it now let's do cross tab as well so how can you use cross tab reports the cross tab reports are just like tables you've got rows and columns and at the intersection of rows and columns you've got a cell where you've got values so this was the missing value again so this is something that a cross tab uh, looks like a cross tabulation report so let's say how do you do this analyze descriptive statistics cross tabs and let's say I'm interested in finding out about male and female respondents in each country so let's say I put country in rows and gender in columns and just press you can have uh, charts as well clustered bar charts you can have other statistics as well and let's press ok so here it is in China there were 131 male and 147 female in Pakistan there were 189 male 126 females in Italy 94 male 87 female and this is your bar chart for cross uh, sorry country and gender cross tabulation so this is how you can use descriptive statistics and this is how you can report